Arkansas cable providers are connecting our state to the world through our state-of-the-art broadband networks, educators, health care providers, emergency responders, law enforcement personnel, and consumers have access to the information superhighway like never before, many times at greatly reduced costs. That's our commitment to making Arkansas a leader in the digital age. Arkansas cable providers are indeed connecting our state to the world, and we're just getting started. Dr. Barr, thank you so much for joining us. Now let's talk about some of these numbers. A thousand people who are voters who have voted in previous elections were polled and the margin of error is about 3% plus or minus. Mm -hmm. But the first race that we want to talk about is a virtual dead heat between Mike Ross and Asa Hutchinson. Were you surprised that the race is so close? No, not at all. I mean, we had uh, pulled this race uh, uh, back in October. It was about a four-point gap, which is, you know, pretty much within the margin of error. Um, we have seen uh, uh, campaigning uh, on TV uh, on both sides uh, uh, in the months since, and so uh, we've seen, um, a, you know, a little tightening of the race. Both candidates have come up a bit. Um, former Congressman Ross come up a little bit more, and so we have a a dead heat for, for governor. Um, and, you know, I, I really think that um, until we get to Labor Day, where voters really engage more thoroughly in this race, we're probably going to be see pretty much a dead heat. In different polls, we may see one candidate up one or two, another uh, the other candidate one or two, because that's all about the margin of error. Let's talk about the other race that has so much attention, even mm -hmm. nationwide. Senator Pryor, um, Representative Cotton, this race, there are 8% that are undecided. With all of the money that's coming in, they're really competing for a very small amount of people. Yeah, both candidates have really solidified their base. I mean, uh, Democratic partisans all in for, for re-electioning uh, Senator Pryor, uh, Republican partisans all in for, for Congressman Cotton. Uh, the two, the, the group that where we may see some, uh, a lot of activity is around independent voters and then that very, very small f uh, percentage of folks who, who, uh, who are undecided. Um, you know, is some, that unusual this early on in a race? Um, no, I mean, I think you, you have what is a race that is just a very, you know, partisan race. Uh, as you said, there's been millions and millions of dollars spent on it. I think they've really locked in their, their base of support. And so it's a race that uh, is, of course, uh, uh, once folks do really engage those independent voters in the, in the fall, uh, we, uh, we may see some shift in it. Uh, but I think that also, much like the governor's race, I mean, we're really going to see pretty much a dead heat, uh, uh, at least until Labor Day. And then, of course, as the as voters focus, we may begin to see a little more of a shift. Uh, but it's a very uh, tight race as well. Um, you know, I think it does bode pretty well for, for Central Pryor that he has, you know, fended off what have been some pretty aggressive attacks and has still got a minor, minor lead, although it's really so right at the margin of error. Margin of error exactly. Yeah. And then finally, the ethics and term limit right. initiative. Now, this will be on the November ballot. Mm -hmm. uh, it went through the legislature this past mm -hmm. year. So tell me a little bit about this. And uh, the numbers don't look very good for this. No, and this these numbers are very consistent with our polling that we did back in October. Uh, it's very stable. Um, and uh, uh, it's, it's unfavorable. And, and what's interesting is that uh, we pulled this a couple of years ago when there was a, a measure on the ballot that was only about limiting gifts and dinners uh, to uh, to legislators. That was very favorable. Hmm. Uh, it really does seem to be limits. the term limit okay. extension seems to be a problem. Um, and then also it does have the opportunity for some pay raise for elected officials. I think both of those things are really bogging down what is Part of this is pretty popular, other parts of it Even very with unpopular. all of the ethics issues that we've had this year. Right. Very interesting. Well, Dr. Jay Barth, you are a political science professor over at Hendricks College, and he is a survey partner with Talk Business and Politics on this polls. Thank you so much for being here. Back Thank to you, you Roby.